Hello wonderful viewers, welcome to my channel, Aquaba. Sawubona. Namaste. Bienvenue. I'm very happy to share with you my great inspirational stories. To my wonderful subscribers, and great viewers at large, I'm very grateful for your prayers, love, and support. I pray that the good Lord will bless you all. The story you are about to watch is about a young lady whose great expectations in marriage turns to be her nightmare. Please watch the whole story for better understanding. Also, let me know what you think about this story by leaving your comment in the comment section. Kindly like, subscribe, and share my videos. God bless you all. Babes, are you sure about this? I really don't think it's a good idea. Well, to be honest, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I just want to give it a try. We don't try in marriage, girlfriend. It's either you go in full time, or you stay out. Nothing like trying. My problem is not even about you wanting to marry. My concern is with the man in question. I don't trust that guy. There is something about him. I just can't figure it out. Moreover, can you become a pastor's wife? Be truthful to yourself, babes. That name, pastor's wife, scares me I wouldn't lie. But I love Michael, and I'm willing to be his wife. Well, I will still advise you to have a rethink about this issue. Or better still, investigate more about him. Come on babes, you worry too much. This man in question is a pastor. He can't possibly be that bad. Besides, I have known him for six months now. Trust me, he is very romantic, caring, loving, and he always gives me 100% attention. If you say so but please still do your investigation about him. I still don't trust him. Period. Two days later. Where is this girl? Kate, can't you hear me calling you? Kate, him, Kate, I just don't understand this girl. She is a very lazy girl. All she knows is to sleep, eat, and watch movies. You will never see her praying, not to talk of fasting. At the end of it all, she will be expecting to make heaven. How can you make it to heaven when you don't work for it? Brother you called me. So you actually heard me calling you and you decided to ignore me. Isn't it Kate? Aish, Aish. Not again big brother. I have a severe headache. Only heavens will save you from my hands if you call me big brother for the once again. How many times have I told you to call me Pastor Michael? But brother, sorry. I mean Pastor Michael. You are my brother. I don't understand why you get offended anytime I call you brother. I'm an ordained man of God. My title in the Lord is pastor, so address me as one. Okay, Pastor Michael. Now, clean the house and make dinner. My fiancé will be coming over tonight. Brother, you have found yourself another lady so quickly. Sorry, I mean Pastor Michael. Just channel the energy you are using to ask me this silly question into your prayer life. That will help you. Aish, you are always angry. Just get out and go and make yourself useful for once. I just pity whoever that lady is. Seriously, I'm very sure my brother's anger issues will definitely drive her away. I mean, I have witnessed four of his breakups. I just don't understand him at all. The problem is, he doesn't want to accept that he has anger issues. Gosh. One week later. Mother, you called. Yes I did. Sit down. I want to have a word with you. Mother I hope all is well. Anna, I called you because of the man you brought home yesterday. Are you sure about him? Do you really want to marry him? Yes mother, Michael is a nice man of God. And I truly love him. I'm a little worried. From the way he was talking, I think he is kind of arrogant. I don't know, maybe I might be wrong. You don't need to worry mother. Michael is a good man. Are you sure my girl? Yes mother, you have nothing to worry about. My mind is at peace then. I'm happy for you, even though I'm wondering how you are going to cope as a pastor's wife. But I still thank God. I pray he uses both you and your husband as his vessel. Amen. Two days later. Babes, what's up? I have been observing you. And you look distracted and worried. What's going on? Girlfriend, something happened yesterday which has been eating me up. What could that be that's making you look this miserable? Yesterday, during my dinner date with Michael, a young man approached us. Excuse me madam. Do I know you from somewhere? No, I don't think so. Excuse me, who are you? How dare you talk to my woman like that? 
I'm very sorry sir. Pardon me for my manners. She resembles an old friend of mine. Just take your miserable self from here. She is my woman. Honey, please calm down. He only asked me a simple question. Why are you attacking him? Can't you see people are watching us? How dare you talk to me like that? Why are you supporting him? Is he your secret boyfriend? Are you cheating on me with him? How can you think like that of me? Why are you trying to be unreasonable? Must you blow this out of proportion? How dare you talk to me like that because of this man? Don't you have respect for a man of God? What? Oh my goodness. Did you just slap me? And that too in public? Oh God, what have you made me do Anna? Made you do? In fact, I'm out of here. What? You mean he slapped you? Yes, my friend. I was in shock, because I have never seen him in that rage. Anna, I suggest you rethink your decision to marry him. If a whole pastor can slap his fiancé in public, then only God knows what he can do in his chambers. You don't need to judge him. He is not like that. Michael that I know is a very loving man. I think he was not in a good mood last night, because he called me on the phone crying bitterly for forgiveness. That's how abusers behave. Please don't fall for it. Just end things now. Well, since this is the first time, I have decided to forgive him. After all, we all need a second chance. I can see you are already performing your duties as a pastor's wife. Anyway, I hope it ends well. Three days later. Hi. My name is Julia. Hi Julia, have we met before? No we haven't. I see. Anyway, my name is Anna. I'm here to get some jewelries for my wedding. I see. Congratulations then. Thank you. May I ask if it's Michael the pastor you are about to get married to? Yes, how do you know that? So I heard right. Please Anna. I will advise you not to marry him. He is not what you think he is. He is an abuser. I was engaged to be married to him. He nearly killed me before we could marry. So I ended everything with him. Oh, oh, so, you are the wicked woman Michael told me about. How could you do that to a man that loved you with everything in him? Is that what Michael told you? My dear, they are all lies. Please, listen to me and run for your life before it's too late. You are not in any position to advise me. You are a very wicked soul. I don't want you close to me. Just stay away from me and Michael. That's okay. At least heavens will bear me witness that I advised you not to enter that marriage. Keep your advice to yourself. I don't need it. I'm a full-grown woman, and I know what is good for me. One month later, Michael and Anna are married. And where are you going dressed like this? What kind of question is this honey? My leave is over. I told you that I'm resuming work today. Dressed like this. A whole mother of the church. No way. Dress like what? This is how I dress to work. You know that. That was before. Now listen here, I will allow you to go to work today, just to hang in your resignation letter. What? Yes, you heard right. Secondly, you will stop calling me honey. You must address me as daddy, or my lord, or master. You don't mean it, do you? I mean every word. Thirdly, you will stop wearing trousers. Maybe I can consider you wearing it at home. But not out, and you must always cover your hair. So please, go upstairs, and change your clothes before you step out. But honey, how can you do this to me? Honey, honey, stop calling me honey. I said call me daddy. Why are you disrespecting your master? Ephesians 5 verses 21 to 24 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Will you disobey the word of the Most High God? Then go in there, and do what I asked you to do. A few moments later. Babes, how can you agree to this? How can you resign from work simply because you are a wife of a pastor? Didn't you have a life before you got married? Girlfriend, it's not like I'm happy about this decision. I just agreed because I don't want to cause tension in my home. If this will make my husband not to fight with me, then it's worth the sacrifice. Gradually, this man you call a pastor will change you totally. He will suppress you. I can see he is very cunning and authoritative. You must speak up now that it has not escalated. All I need is peace. 
You know my sister-in-law is staying with us, I don't want to be fighting with my husband in her presence. Like I always say, I hope it ends well. But I'm going to miss you. I'm already feeling lonely. Ah, I will miss you more. But don't worry, you can always come over to my house. Four months later. What is the meaning of what you did today at church? I don't understand. Why are you always beating me up daddy? I truly don't know what you are talking about. I'm talking about that man you were talking to at church. Haven't I warned you not to talk to any man? But daddy, how can I not talk to any man? I'm the mother of the church. You always push me to the wall. Please don't beat me, you know I'm pregnant. Your abuse caused us our first pregnancy, do you want me to have another miscarriage? How dare you call me an abuser? How long will this continue? I have reported this to my mother, but instead of her to come here, she keeps on giving one excuse to another. She will wait until her son kills someone. Three days later. Yes, come in. May the peace of the Lord be with you. <laughs> what is the matter, Sister Hannah? Daddy, it's my husband Deacon Charles. He beats me every day. There is always chaos at home. This is affecting the children. Please help me. I really want my home to be like your home. You and mummy are so perfect. Have you been submissive to your husband? Because as a wife, you must worship your husband. Your husband is your master. You see my wife. She is very submissive to me. She worships me. So I also treat her well. I can't even imagine myself laying a finger on her. Yes, daddy. I give him all the respect a wife should give to her husband, but still. I will talk to him. It is not godly for a man to beat his wife. Don't worry. I will make sure there is peace in your marriage. Amen and amen. Shall we pray? The next day. What are you doing? I'm having breakfast, daddy. Eating breakfast. Don't you know the church is fasting? As the mother of the church, you are here eating, instead of casting and binding. Daddy, you know I can't join the fast because of my pregnancy. Go ahead. Use the baby you are carrying as an excuse to weaken your spiritual life. A few moments later. Brother. Aish. Sorry. Daddy, I was coming to your room. Yes, what is it? Brother, I'm worried about the way you beat Auntie Anna. I mean, check her condition. You might harm her, or the baby, or even both of them. What was that for? That's for calling me brother. Now you listen. Let this be the first and last time you talk about how I treat my wife. Do you understand? Nonsense. Now move from my way. Two days later. I just don't know what your problem is. Must this baby in your belly die before you realize this man is not good enough for you? He is wearing a pastoral mask. Behind that mask is a demon. It is his type that tarnish the name of the good and genuine men of God. But I don't want to leave him. I'm scared he might harm me if I do. He has put fear in you. Now you see him as God. Listen, let's have him arrested for abusing a pregnant woman. No, no, I don't think that's the right thing to do. I can see you want to die in that house, but I will not allow it. I'm going to inform your mother about this abuse. I can't keep quiet anymore. I will harm myself if you do. You know how my mother is. She will come to my house to make things worse. Please, Bonnie. I will not tell your mother, only on one condition. Which is? You must promise that. You will end things with that beast you call your husband. Fine. But you must please give me some time. Sure, but if you delay, I will not tell your mother. I will just go straight to the police. I will arrest him myself. The next day. How dare you barge into my office without knocking or booking an appointment. And why must I do that? You are a shameful man. You don't need such protocols. I'm here to warn you. The next time you lay those your filthy hands on my friend again, I will make sure you rot in jail. And who are you to warn a man of God? A single lady like you, who even gave you the right to come to my office to warn me. Now you get out of my office before I call the police on you. I have delivered my message. A word to the wise is enough. 
fake man of God, wife beater, shame on you. Just get out, Satan. Just get out, Jezebel. Seven months later, Anna has given birth to a beautiful baby girl. I really wanted to go and see Bonnie, but this rain will not allow me. Let me call her on the phone. I hope she answers. Hi babes. Hi Anna. I don't think I can make it because of the rain. Please let's wait till tomorrow. Till tomorrow you say. If I don't see you here by the close of the day, I will come to your house with the police. How can your husband beat you while breastfeeding a baby? What I don't understand is that you don't see anything wrong with that. So I won't keep quiet anymore. If I don't see you today, I will come to your house with the police to arrest your husband. Please don't bring the police here. Just wait and see. Hello. Hello, Bonnie. Disconnected. Aish. Next day. Where is this woman? Can't she hear her child crying? Anna. Aish. Aish. This child can cry. Goodness. I wonder what this woman is doing in the kitchen. She calls herself a mother, but cannot hear her baby crying. Did she just break something? I hope it's not my plates. Did you just break my plate? And why are you even cooking without lights? I'm sorry daddy, I dropped the plates by mistake. About the kitchen lights, they have not been working since last week. I told you about it. But you said you have not budgeted for it, so you can't fix it. Are you now blaming me? No no daddy, please don't beat me, allow me to finish cooking. The food is burning, you know it's gasoline. How dare you? Are you the one to tell me what to do? You can pretend to be dying for all I care. Your food is burning, you better get up from the floor and check before you burn down my house. I'm going out, I can't stand you, are you still lying down there? You better not burn down my house, and I hope you can hear your child crying upstairs. I'm out of here. A few moments later. Where is Anna? Why is their door left open? And why is the baby crying non-stop? Where is everybody? I hope Anna didn't tell that wicked man that I'm coming with police. The police are outside. Today he will not escape me. But, where is Anna? Wait, where is the smoke coming from? I can smell it. Let me check the kitchen. Anna what happened to you? Why are you lying down lifeless? Help! Help! Fire everywhere! Someone call the ambulance! Call the fire station! Help! A few moments later... So you have the mindset to abuse your wife. You beat her and you left her to die. You didn't even consider your own baby. If her friend had not reached there on time, the baby and her mother would have been burned to death. You are a wicked man. I really didn't mean to hurt my wife. I love her so much. This is the work of the devil. You are the devil himself. You call yourself a pastor. A mentor that people look up to. You were supposed to be a role model to your church, but you turned out to be a disappointment to the church and to your family. You will spend so many years in prison. You will surely pay for your evil act. It is because of people like you. So-called men of God that tarnish the image of the genuine men of God. God, please forgive me. I don't know what I was doing. I know what your word says in the book of Ephesians 5 verse 25 to 30. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify, and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot, or wrinkle, or any such thing, but that, it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth, and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. I just wish I can turn the hands of time. Aish, what have I done to myself? The next day. How could you Anna? So you were going through all these emotional trauma, and you refused to tell me, your mother. Anytime I visited, you made it seem all was well. Not knowing you were dying in silence. Why will you stay in an abusive relationship? I'm very sorry mother. I was thinking Michael would change one day. Abusers hardly change. They may only change after a tragedy has occurred. I just wished I could lay my hands on that man.
He is very lucky. Mother, how is my baby? She is safe. Bonnie brought her to me. She is okay. I thank God Bonnie was there on time to rescue you and the baby before the house burnt down. The house burnt down? What about Michael and her sister? I hope they are all safe. Why are you still worried about that man? He is a wicked soul. Mother, he is still my husband, the father of my child. Shouldn't I be worried about him? This is a sign of a soul tie. I can see a soul tie here. But don't worry, I will pray and fast. I must break this soul tie in Jesus' name, because I will not allow you to go back to that monster. We must say no to any form of abuse. And about your question, that monster is in the police custody. Kate, his sister, is in my house. That man will rot in jail. Aish. The end. We must say no to any form of abuse. There are a lot of people who endure an abusive relationship with the aim that their partners will change. Please, most abusers never change. Don't be deceived by their remorseful behavior after the act, that's how they operate. Learn to speak up, say no to abuse of any kind. There are some men who will keep their trauma to themselves because they don't want the society to see them as weak. Yes, men too go through abuse. I urge our men to speak up if you are in an abusive relationship. It will not make you a weakling. Put your life first. Also, there should be a mutual respect in marriage. Though men are heads of the family, it doesn't give them the right to treat their wives badly. Women, though your husbands may quiet and gentle, it doesn't make you the head of the family. You must know your position in your home. Understand each other so that there will be peace in your home. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumb up and share. God bless you all.